this is Jackie from Bronx Bobbles and I'm super duper excited to bring you another interesting video. Can you guys guess what video I'm bringing to you today? If you guess Miss Joan Rivers Fabergé enamel egg charm necklace, you are absolutely correct. So without further delay, let's just get this video started. was born on June 8, 1933, and she passed away September 4th, 2014. And she was originally named Joan Alexandra Malinsky, and she was born a New York, Brooklyn girl. She is well known for her comedy. She's an amazing female comedian. However, she's also an actress, a producer, an entrepreneur, a mother, an author, and she's also an incredible jewelry designer. She was known for her blunt and controversial comedy. And some people either loved her and some just didn't care for her. But I love Joan because of her jewelry collection and what she's done for the jewelry community. She was considered a pioneer female comedian amongst many, many male comedians. And she was the first female to host her own late night TV show called Late Night with Joan Rivers. She was a very astute and bright businesswoman. And she had a, a, a talent, not only for her comedic timing and her acting, but she also had a talent for creating businesses. And while her career was floundering in the 1990s, QVC wanted Joan to create a makeup line. But Joan said that she would much rather do a jewelry line. And during that time in the 1990s, for a person to peddle their wares on QVC was considered really risky. Joan Rivers' accolades and her achievements and the things that she was able to accomplish in her life, I wouldn't even be able to do it justice on this video. So I'm gonna just focus solely on these Fabergé necklace egg charms. Um, so, because I think that I won't be able to do justice for Joan. And in fact, I plan to do another video dedicated to some of the jewelry that I um, um, have. And I'm like many other women who are rabid collectors of Joan Rivers jewelry. She wanted to produce jewelry that was not only well-made, not only well-designed, but also available to most women out there. She wanted her jewelry to be the best of the best, but affordable for women to wear it. And she believed that jewelry can make or break an outfit. And she was a huge collector of vintage jewelry, whether it was costume or even fine jewelry. And one of the things that she was known for was her Fabergé egg necklace. And it started with her husband who purchased a Fabergé charm in the shape of a ladybug. And with that, she caught the bug for collecting the Fabergé egg. The necklace that she purchased was from Queen Mary of Romania. And I'm not going to even, you know, talk about the history of that. That's for another video. Um, but there's an extensive history with the Fabergé company, as well as the Fabergé eggs and the Fabergé egg charms. Again, I'm just focusing on Joan Rivers' Fabergé egg charm enamel necklace. So in 1990, Joan Rivers started her QVC line of jewelry and it took off like wildfire. They didn't expect it to, to, to reach the heights of which it uh, reached. And she was reported to have made a billion dollars worth of jewelry. And even now in the secondary market, certain pieces of Joan Rivers are commanding really, really high prices. But her jewelry is made with the top-notch materials, 18 karat gold, uh, sterling silver plating, and she is paid a lot of attention to details. And I think that really, really shows at, uh, with these charms. 
each and every one of these charms is like a piece of art. It's like a little miniature sculpture. And she did it justice considering that she made it with, you know, secondary materials. Whereas Fabergé would use, you know, diamonds and sapphires and emeralds and goulash and, and enamel and engine turn. And it would take him years to create one egg, you know, Joan was able to interpret that in very miniature forms and put it in her charms. And she, I think, did an amazing job. She really, really created a line of, of jewelry that's interchangeable that you can create and build upon. And that was a lot of the theme of Joan Rivers' um, jewelry, interchangeable, building on the collection. And I think that is why her pieces were coveted by many collectors, including myself. I think that this was one of the most iconic pieces in Joan Rivers' collection. And after she passed, her daughter Melissa sold her um, jewelry and some of her other Fabergé items up at auction. But one of the things she kept and held on to was the necklace because she said she would sit on the, on the bedside with her mother and they would go through each and every one of the eggs and they'll talk about it. And that's what I wanna show with you. So I'm gonna to present to you a montage of over a hundred enamel Fabergé eggs from my Joan Rivers Fabergé egg charm collection on this video. So please stay tuned for watching that. But before I show you the video, I have to give a special shout out to someone that that made this video a possibility. My good friend, Karen, who I met in salsa dance class over 10 years ago, who remained my friend to this day. Karen gave me most of the charms on this necklace. And um, she was known as Chica Bonita because she was both good on the inside as well as the outside and she danced like a ballerina. Karen recently lost her husband to complications from 9-11 and she was closing out her house and moving to a different city. And she asked me to come over to take a look at her jewelry and she had a phenomenal jewelry collection. I was actually salivating and drooling over her jewels. But one of the key features in her jewelry was this necklace. And I couldn't believe that she was willing to part with it for me. And I told her, that I was honored that she would allow me to be the custodian of these amazing charms. Um, and she wanted me to have them because she felt that I was going to be a good custodian to them and that I was gonna be taking good care of it. But one of the things that she wanted me to do was to make sure that I shared it with you guys. And I promised her that I would do that. And there's no other better day to do that than Easter weekend. So, without further delay, let's just get this fabulous, gorgeous, phenomenal Joan Rivers Fabergé Enamel Egg Charm Collection montage of over a hundred eggs for you to see. Check this video out and feast your eyes.
that you enjoyed that montage of the most amazing, gorgeous little pieces of miniature works of art. And I think that Joan Rivers did an amazing job creating these sculptural little gems. And I enjoy taking a look at each and every one of them. I wanna leave you with a quote from Joan Rivers. And this is what she had to say. Over the years, as fashion came and fashions went, my love for jewelry never wavered. I collect jewelry with an intensity usually reserved for fine art collectors. And why not? Jewelry is art. I can't agree more with Joan Rivers that jewelry is art. And these little miniature artworks are a perfect example of what she meant. So let me know which one of these Fabric J enamel egg charms was your favorite. And also let me know if you collect any of Joan Rivers jewelry or if you specifically collect her Fabric J eggs. I don't even know how many eggs are in her collection. I know I don't have all of them, so there's more out there for me to hunt for and for me to find in the wild. So if this is a content that you really enjoy, make sure you subscribe to my, my video. I have about 720 subscribers and I'm looking to reach at least a thousand by the end of this year. And if you are a subscriber and you like what you see, please hit the like button. But the one thing that I love more than anything about producing these videos is having an open dialogue with you guys. I love that you trust me enough to share with me some of the things that are going on in your lives. And some of you have even said that you feel like I'm a friend of yours, and I sure am. If you're a vintage costume jewelry lover, um, you're a friend of mine. So with that, I want to just thank everyone um, for taking the time and watching my videos. And I want to wish all those who are celebrating Easter this weekend a very happy Easter. And um, I also want to send you a special thank you from my Bronx Zoo. That's Bad Bunny Pamela. Um, that's Old Bitty Kitty Lila. And Angry Bird Leo. And all my plants and me. From the Bronx Zoo to you, we want to wish every one of you a happy Easter. Thank you so much and con tanto, tanto amor.